Welcome back to our tutorial series, Developing Game Boy Games in C using the Game Boy Developer Kit. And today we're going to continue your journey on becoming an indie Game Boy developer by doing backgrounds and showing you how you can scroll those really easily on the Game Boy. So let's get started. So the first step to designing some backgrounds is using the tool we used previously with Sprites, the Game Boy Tile Designer. So basically sprites and backgrounds are all made up of these 8 pixel by 8 pixel blocks. So actually you don't individually draw your backgrounds like some kind of art package, you kind of jigsaw them together from all the different 8 by 8 tiles that you create. So we're going to create a really simple but hopefully practical example here. So it's a good idea for when you open up Game Boy Tile Designer that you leave the first sprite here, the zero sprite, blank because then you've got a blank background tile you can use for kind of filling in with things. So I've done a few here already, so I've done a kind of a brick tile, so you can see here how it will tile together just by drawing kind of a whole brick on one and half brick on the other. Uh, but obviously when I want to use this at the ends I'm going to want to close off these half bricks. So I've got another one there that closes off the half bricks on the right hand side closes off the half bricks on the left hand side. So that's my kind of brick wall texture, I can use how I like. Then I've kind of got a fuzzy background texture, we'll see how we use that. Uh, another one maybe for kind of grass or ground, and then a kind of pavement or something texture. So that's, I've got seven textures there, zero through to six. And all I've done to do those is just like we did before, drawing our kind of texture here, um, just by selecting the color we want and then drawing like that. So if I wanted a texture that was just really thick like that, that's what I would do. Then once you've done it, rather than exporting these, what you're going to do is save them. So I've just created a simple background and so this is the GBR is the native file format for Game Boy Tile Designer. Okay, so you've done that. Now we're going to use another tool. There's a download link for this. So this is called the Game Boy Map Builder, made by the same person who does the tile designer. You see they look very, very similar. And when I bring this in, what I'm going to want to do is load in my tile designer file. So I'm going to do file, map properties, and I'm going to choose that file. And now I want this to be, um, the I want it to be two Game Boy screens wide. So the Game Boy itself is 160 pixels by 144 pixels. So if we divide those by both by eight, that would be 20 wide by 18 high. So that's how many, 20 tiles wide, 18 high. We want it to be twice the width, I want kind of two screens so we can scroll a little bit. So we're gonna do 40 tiles by 18 tiles. And then we've selected our background. So if we click OK, you'll see it will now draw our kind of two screens worth of um, space ready to do. Uh, I like to try and zoom this in a little bit. Maybe not quite that much. So you can see it's imported these here. We're going to start by just drawing some ground. So if we select uh, the row we want and then with our right mouse button just draw a kind of straight line where we want it to be on the screen. And then we're going to draw some bricks. So if we take our brick texture we can draw it across here. Now you've actually got a a fill tool so we can use that to fill the whole of it. But obviously our end of our bricks aren't quite right here so we have textures for that so if we select that that closes off that side nicely. So you can see here we're building up our background quite a simple one here but you can see how it get more complicated just by drawing with these little blocks. So here I'll put some kind of floor in Maybe that's some grass underneath or all the ground underneath it, whatever you'd want it to be in your game. Okay, so there you can see that's actually a really simple um, background that we've kind of drawn. So once we finish this we need to export it to C so that we can use it in Game Boy Developer Kit. So if you go File, Export To. You need to choose where you want to export it to. So I'm just going to do that into our simple tutorial. We need to make sure we select Game Boy Developer Kit C here. Give it whatever name you really want to give it. 
and there's some critical things in here. So by default, it won't have anything here. You need to select tile number. Basically, that will make sure that in the map file, it saves which tile number here is used in which location. You can also use this for storing your own information. So if you were storing information about collision detection or color, for example, then you could use that here. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to select tile number. And then you need to make sure that you've got this bit here. And if you forget to do this, it will mess things up. So you need to have plane count, one plane, eight bit. Once you've got all the rest of it set to defaults and that, click on OK and let export it. We also need to make sure we've exported our tile designer file. So again, if we go to file, export to, select where you want to export it to, make sure it's a Game Boy Developer Kit C file, give it the name that you want to give it. So if we give it background tiles, select how many tiles you want to export. Again, by default, this was zero to zero. We want to go from zero to seven, so eight tiles, then click OK. Right, that's everything we need to do with the designer and the map builder. Now we're actually going to get on with the code. So if we open up Visual Studio Code, like in our other tutorials, we're just going to start with a pretty much empty Game Boy developer kit file. So you can see here that we've got our simple background and our simple background map have already been saved out. So if we have a very quick look at those, you don't really have to understand right now, although it would be good for you to understand in future what these do. But this is all our background tiles. So this is what we designed here. They've been exported into C and they're called background tiles. And then our background map, which maps those tiles to the screen, is stored here. You can see a lot of them are nothing. There's nothing there at all. So that's the two bits we need. We need to do what we've done in previous episodes where we include those files. So I'll just paste that in. So you just do include, open brackets, the name of your tile file and the name of your map file uh, with .c on the end. So that will pull those two files in. We can refer to them. And then we've got to use two new methods. So the first one is to set background data. So it's very similar to the sprite um, data setting. So if we paste this in here, so we do set background data and we're going to set the kind of background sprites between zero and seven. So it's going to save those into the video memory for the background. And we're going to load those from the background tiles. So that's what we called this array here. So it's basically saying load up the first seven that you find in there into the background data memory. So that's great, but it won't actually display yet. So now we need to actually set the background itself. So this is to set the background tiles. We're going to start at zero and zero. So X and Y coordinates on the screen. We're going to go for 40 tiles across and 18 tiles down. And it should go and get the map to know which tiles to use for each of those from our background map. So that's pretty much most of the code to show the background. We've got to do two other small things um, just to make sure that actually the Game Boy is showing what we want. So there are two flags that we've used before, but we used them before for sprites. So show BKG, show background rather than show sprites before, and then actually just to turn the display on on the Game Boy. So if we save that file, that should be everything we need to do now. So if we just compile that, I've got my terminal open at the bottom here. So we just do backslash dot backslash make which will run our make file again the make file we've used in previous tutorials you can kind of see it here and if you haven't got it already you can start to copy that um, but we're just going to run make It'll take a second to run and now if we go and like having all the other tutorials go and find bgb the game boy emulator and if we load the rom we've just created Okay, there's your background displaying. So that's the basics for how we get background working. But we're now going to look at how to scroll the background. So scrolling the background is pretty simple, pretty much the same as scrolling a sprite. So we're going to put a game loop in. So while, and whatever you want to put in there. So one, basically while one is one, it will always continue looping through there. And the first thing we're going to do is scroll the background. So there's a Game Boy developer kit function called scroll underscore bkg and the first parameter for this is how far you want it to scroll in the x 
um, plane and the second one is how far you want it to scroll in the Y so we want it to scroll horizontally so we're going to make it scroll one pixel in the X direction and zero in the Y and then if we just round that now it'll be very very quick so we want to put a short delay in let's say a delay of 100 and that will just slow it down a little bit so it moves across the screen and, and that's it so we've loaded our data in we've mapped uh, where they where the tiles for the background appear on screen we showed the background we turned it on we've got a loop in here that's scrolling the background one pixel every time and we've got delay of 100 let's build it so if we go into bgb again load it up there you go you'll see it scrolling across the screen now see it's going to disappear off the edge of the screen we've got no code stopping it or anything like that there's actually some really interesting thing you can start seeing here if you go to other by right clicking on the screen go to other vram viewer then go to bg map so that's what we've told it to store into the video memory and all it's doing is moving the screen across our background map and it will carry on looping around so you can see the black box is where the screen currently is so that's our entire background map so if we wanted to scroll in all directions we'd be able to create a bigger one what you can't do because you can run out of memory pretty quickly is just draw so if you're drawing like the zelda dx map for example it'd be huge it'd be many 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 screens so you'll actually have to load in new background maps and, and run through those as you're kind of animating across but this shows you how to do a basic one how to be able to kind of loop through it all uh, and should be able to do some very basic games. Okay, that's kind of what we're going to do today. What I haven't shown you, obviously, is how to put a sprite in, how to do collision detection of those. They're all much more advanced topics, and we'll kind of get to those hopefully later in the series. But that's all for now. Keep trying this out yourself. Please feel free to ask any questions, and don't forget to subscribe, and we'll speak to you next time. Bye.